Good day, everybody. How are you all doing? Today, we are going to talk about an AP statistics uh, prep problem on hypothesis testing. But uh, before I get started, I would like to mention that I've solved all kinds of AP statistics prep problem in my channel. And I've also solved other stats problem and other kinds of math problems. So please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner because then you will have free access to all these solved problems for your help, okay? So please subscribe to my channel and you have nothing to lose but everything to gain. So without further ado, I'll get started. The mean work commute time is the total time that a worker in the U.S. spends in transit from a place of a residence to a place of employment. Typically, the commute time is adjusted by finding a rolling average. The four-year rolling average for the past four years is reported to be 27 minutes with a standard deviation of seven minutes. A company has relocated its office to a suburban zone and wants to find if the move has altered the commute time of its employees. The company takes a simple random sample of 25 employees and records their daily commute time. From these data, a mean commute time X bar will be calculated. Let mu represent the mean commute time for all employees. Okay. Uh, staffed at the suburban office. Part A, what would be the appropriate hypothesis test for this scenario? Uh, part B, in context of uh, the above situation, describe what a type one error would be. And part C, assuming the sampling distribution of the sample means of n equal to 25 is normally distributed, what values of mean commute times x bar at 99% confidence would cause the company to reject the claim that its commute times were equivalent to a national average? Remember the national average is 27 minutes. So in order to answer part A, what would be the appropriate hypothesis test for this scenario? Null hypothesis mu is equal to 27, alternate hypothesis mu not equal to 27, okay? Part B, okay, what would be a type one error? What is type one error? Type one error is committed when we reject H0 even though H0 is true in reality. In this case, it means that we would reject H0 mu equal to 27 even though in reality mu is equal to 27. Part C, here we will find the 99% confidence interval for the population mean commute time with n equal to sample size 25, x bar equal to 27, and sigma equal to seven minutes. Since the sampling distribution of the sample means is normally distributed, we will use <laughs> the uh, z interval, okay? because we know the population standard deviation, we know the uh, sample mean, and we know the sample size, and it's normally distributed. So we will use the Z interval in our calculation in TI-84, using TI-84 calculator. So we will press the STAT button, then we will highlight test and scroll down to Z interval and enter. Our input should be on stats, okay, in the first line in Z interval. Sigma is seven, okay. Mu is, uh, or X bar is 27, N is 25, and my C level is 0.99, 99% confidence interval for the population mean. And we will calculate, bring the cursor and calculate and hit enter. So <clears throat> the 99% confidence interval task is lower boundary is 23.39, upper boundary is 33.61. If X bar is less than 23.39 or X bar is greater than 30.61, then we will reject the null hypothesis, okay? 
So if X bar is less than 23.39, that is less than the lower boundary 99% confidence interval, or X bar greater than 30.61, which is the upper boundary of 99% confidence interval for the mean, we will reject the null hypothesis that mu is equal to 27. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, any comment, please write to me. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. You can also contact me by my WhatsApp number, which is at the bottom of the screen. And please subscribe to my channel because I'll come back next time with another statistics problem solved all for you. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.